post-secondary learning may look different for some students this upcoming winter semester as schools move towards offering more in-person classes, but not all students are ready for this pivot back to normal. Over 9,500 signatures on this petition calling on York University to give students the option of remote learning in all classes for the winter semester. Among the concerns listed, safety, international students unable to return to Canada, and unvaccinated students who are immune compromised and aren't allowed on campus. We spoke with a fourth year student who signed the petition and only has two classes online next semester. She's unvaccinated and didn't want to be identified for fear of reprisal. It's not like I'm against it. I just, I wanted some more time to really think about it. A couple of my friends who are fully vaccinated, um, but they cannot come in person. Uh, they, one of my friends said they have a, a chronic illness and she is unable to get her third dose. Students at the University of Toronto Mississauga campus started a similar petition last month. This semester, 20% of classes at Ryerson University had in-person components. In the winter, the school expects a majority of undergraduate, graduate and law students will do the same. York University went from 33% of in-person courses in the fall to 80% in the winter term, adding, quote, Many programs will continue offering online courses or components as they did prior to the start of the pandemic to accommodate the diverse needs of students and to enrich the student learning experience. I think what we have to keep in mind is that the pandemic is evolving and it continues to evolve. Professor Thomas Tinkate says though there are benefits for in-person learning, it's important to offer options and targeted safety measures, especially with the new variant of concern and rising case counts. One middle ground could be to you know, have it face to face for students who are comfortable in coming, but have the lectures recorded and available, you know, online that way, but then have exams face to face where you you're you're really preparing. Schools say they are taking a number of safety measures, including mandatory vaccine requirements on campus. 95% of students at Ryerson University disclosed their vaccine status. Of those, 96% said they were fully vaccinated. Out of the 61,000 members of the York University community that shared their status, over 95% of students, staff and faculty and instructors said they're fully vaccinated. Those unvaccinated say they are put in a difficult position. They said that um, unless we comply, then we will just be de-enrolled. We just want the option to get our education the way we want to. Now about 3,000 members of the York University community have yet to disclose their vaccination status to the school. A spokesperson also adds the school is following the guidance of local and provincial health officials.